Hi, I'm Bharadwaj Rangan and this is the Rapid Fire Plus Minus Review of Uru, directed by Vicky Anand. <laughs> this is the story of a writer named Jeevan and played by Kalay Arasan. Early on, we see him waiting outside a publisher's office. Sweat is trickling down his forehead. But as it turns out, he needn't have been nervous or worried. The publisher loves his manuscript. But over the years, we see that his books have stopped selling. His style has become stale. The publisher says readers are tired of Jeevan's stories about family, love, sentiment. He wants something different. So that's the first big plus of the film. It's different. One of the most heartening trends in Tamil cinema over the past few years is the emergence of young filmmakers who want to cut away from cliché and make different kinds of movies. Uru is about Jeevan's attempts to write a novel about a killer who sees his murders as art. Jeevan tells his wife Jenny, played by Sai Danshika, that he's heading to the hills of Meghamalai to complete his book. In other words, this is the thriller about secluded writer genre that Hollywood keeps giving us. Think of The Shining or Secret Window, which this film reminded me a lot of. Needless to say, strange things begin to happen. Another plus, the director opens his film with a Quentin Tarantino quote, If a million people see my movie, I hope they see a million different movies. This isn't just a cool hat tip. The story actually encourages you to read the events in various ways and I'm guessing each one of us is going to settle for the reading that works best. Everything begins to go wrong when Jeevan smokes a joint. So here's theory number one. Maybe it's all a drug fueled dream or is it Jenny's dream? Or maybe this is one of those saw type thrillers where the killer likes to play savage games. And what about that voodoo doll? Maybe there's something supernatural going on. After all, many frames are soaked in green lighting which is movie shorthand for lurking evil. Or maybe it's all a metaphor for an artist's resentment of being tied down by the demands of family life. Minus, while Uru is tricksy as hell, following one theory results in gaping holes in others. And there's a bit of cheating. Watch the film and then tell me who slashed Jeevan's car tires the first time he drives into a forest. And what's with the shifty looks the characters keep giving as though saying, I could be the killer too. The writing should have been much better. The twists at the end sound nice in theory, but like the killer's motivation, they would have benefited from a little more detailing and exposition. Plus, but the genre thrills are solid. Uru runs a lean 100 minutes and there are no songs breaking the story. The director had tips Tarantino in another way as well. The violence is brutal and it's very effective. In most Tamil films, we smell the fake blood from a mile away. But Kalea Rasan and Sai Danshika here really seem to be in danger. Sai Danshika especially gives a fine physical performance. Jenny is smart, sensible. It's been a while since we saw a heroine so strong. Like the movie, she's different. I'm going with three stars. You can read my detailed review at www.filmcompanion.in.